Welcome to Avtech's video demonstration, how to customize alert notifications in Go to My Devices. If your organization has a Go to My Devices service plan at the professional level or higher, you may take advantage of advanced alerting features, such as customizing email notifications and text notifications. To begin, navigate to the alerts page of your GoToMy Devices account. Here, you'll see a list of all your configured alerts. Click on an alert to open its interface. Then select Options in the upper left corner of the screen. In this page, you may customize both the email and text message templates by selecting the custom radio buttons. In our example, we're going to customize the email template. When we select the custom radio button, two tabs will appear. In Triggered, you can customize the notification that will be sent when an alert is triggered. In Cleared, you can customize the notification that will be sent when an alert clears. Both the triggered and cleared templates populate with the default text for the subject and body fields. In this text, you can see keywords, which appear in capital letters inside brackets. These are placeholders for specific information that will appear in the actual email. For example, the keyword alert name and the default alert subject would be replaced with the name of our alert, example RA32E internal sensor alert. In the notification template fields, you can highlight, cut, copy, paste, delete, and type static text as you would in a text editing program. You can also insert keywords into both the subject and body fields. Put your cursor into any of the notification fields to begin editing. In our example, we're going to completely replace the alert subject line by highlighting it, deleting it, and typing our own text. We're also going to include a keyword. To do so, place your cursor where you'd like to insert the keyword. Then, select the Insert Keyword button to open the Keywords window. Select a keyword from the list to insert it into your template. In our example, we're selecting the Trigger Time keyword so that the email subject line lists the date and time that the alert occurred. We'll do the same for the alert email body. First, we've entered the Device IP keyword so that the email recipient can easily open the device's web interface if they'd like. The rest of the message is our own text interspersed with more keywords. You may perform the same steps for your clear subject and body, if you wish, as we have here. Note that you can customize a completely different message in the text message template so that it is shorter and better fit to be displayed on your mobile device. When you are done customizing your notification templates, select Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. In our example, when our alert is triggered, we'll receive a customized email message that looks like this. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact us by email at sales at avtech.com or support at avtech.com or through live chat on our website, avtech.com. Thank you.